Two last questions, one really simple, one absurdly ridiculous, and perhaps also simple. First, who is Ben and is he real? I don't even know what you're talking about. Very well. How's that for an answer? It's like asking me, is Harvey the White Rabbit real? I don't know. There's carrots all around the production room, but I don't know what that means. Well, a lot of people demanded that I prove, I somehow figure out a way to prove the existence. If I said he was real, people would say, no, he's not. And if I said he was, if, if he wasn't real, they would say, yes, he is. So it's a Santa Claus Easter bunny kind of vibe there. Yeah. I mean, what is real anyway? That's I exactly what I told him if it exists. <laughs> okay. The most absurd question. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. But then again, I'm not. What, what, <laughs> what's the meaning of it all? You, you study history of human history. Ooh. Have you been able to make sense of why the hell we're here on this spinning rock? What, what, does any of it even make sense? What's the meaning of life? Hmm. What I look at sometimes that I find interesting is certain consistencies that we have over time. Uh, history doesn't repeat, but it has a, a, a constant, and the constant is us. Now, we change. I mentioned earlier the the wickedly weird time we live in with what social media is doing to us as guinea pigs, and that's a new element, but we're still people who are motivated by love, hate, greed, envy, sex. I mean, all these things that would have connected us with the ancients, right? Mm -hmm. That's the part that always makes history sound like it rhymes, you know? Um, and when you put the constant, the human element, and you mix it with systems that are similar. So one of the reasons that the ancient Roman Republic is something that people point to all the time um, as a as something that seems like we're repeating history is because you have the two con you have humans just like you had then, and you have a system that resembles the one we have here. So you throw the constant in with a system that is somewhat similar, and you begin to see things that look like they rhyme a little. Um, so for me, I'm always trying to figure out more about us. And when you show us in uh, 500 years ago in Asia and 800 years ago in Africa, and you look at all these different places that you put the guinea pig in, and you watch how the guinea pig responds to the different stimuli and challenges, I feel like it helps me flesh out a little bit more who we are in the long timeline, not who we are today specifically, but who we've always been. Um, it's a personal quest. It's not meant to educate anybody else. It's it's something that fascinates me. Do you think there's, uh, in that common humanity throughout history the, of the guinea pig, is there a why underneath it all? Or is it somehow, like, it feels like it's an experiment of some sort. Oh, now you're into Elon Musk and I talked about this, the simulation thing, right? Nick Bostrom's, sure. like, yeah, the idea that there's some some kid and we're the equivalent of an alien's ant farm, you know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, we hope he doesn't throw a tarantula in just to see what happens. Um, I think the whys elude us. And I think that what makes philosophy and religion and those sorts of things so interesting is that they grapple with the whys. Um, but I'm not wise enough to to uh, propose a theory myself, but I'm interested enough to read all the other ones out there. So um, I, I, let's put it this way. I don't think there's any definitive why that's been agreed upon, but the various theories are fascinating. Yeah, whatever it is, whoever the kid is that created this thing, the, the ant farm is kind of interesting. It's, well, so it's, far, a little, bit, a little bit twisted and perverted and sadistic maybe. That's what but makes yeah. it fun, I think. Um, but then again, that's the Russian perspective. I uh, was just going to say, this sounds, <laughs> it, it is the Russian perspective. <laughs> a, a little bit. That's of, what makes the Russian so. Russian history. One day I'll do some Russian history. Yeah, I took it in college. Should. Oh, that's the ant farm, baby. That, <laughs> that's an ant farm with a very, very frustrated young uh, 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 teenage alien kid. <laughs> Dan, I can't say I've already complimented you way too much. I'm a huge Good fan. Thing. This has been an incredible conversation. It's a huge gift. I 
your your gift of humanity. I hope you- oh, Let me cut you off and just say, you've done a wonderful job. This has been fun for me. The questions, and more importantly, the questions can come from anybody. The counter statements, your responses have been wonderful. You made this a very fun intellectual discussion for me. Thank you. Well, let me have the last word and say, I agree with Elon. And despite the doomcaster say that, I think we've concluded definitively, and you don't get a chance to respond that love is in fact, the answer and the way forward. So thanks so much, Dan. Thank you for having me.